Yo, 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 what is going on guys? Lottery Stacks here. We're going to start this video off by saying if you're going to buy into AMC meme token or if you've bought into it, uh, you know, just rug pull them before they rug pull you. Without further ado, let's get right into the video. All right, guys, Lottery Stocks here. If you are new to the channel, welcome to the channel. Uh, we are on the road to 5,000 subscribers. Today, we have a quick AMC video, and we're going to start it off with AMC token. Uh, I do believe this token is a little risky and most likely a rug pull. If anybody has bought into this token, uh, this is not financial advice, but I would probably take your profits before they take your profits on you. This is not linked to the overall company. Uh, you know, you can see their Twitter right here has 10,000 followers. I don't want to spend too much time on this, but honestly, if you just take a look, I think you guys already know at this point, uh, because if you just check the comments, right, uh, you see, I don't like pump and dump. Sorry, fake news, scam alert, block this account. Don't do it, guys. Yada, yada, yada. Squid token part two, rug pull imminent. Uh, let me guess, hedge fund behind this, block report this fake bullshit. All right, so you get the point, right? Most people already know that this is fake. Uh, it's not really backed by any community. Of course, you know you can buy fake followers, uh, fake retweets, fake likes on any type of platform. So that's the first thing we're going to get out of the way. So uh, we can close this out here. Now, the next thing I kind of wanted to take a look at, right, is a little bit on the options chain. Okay, if you see AMC get stumped uh, for the rest of the week, don't be surprised. And the reason I say that is because you have a really, really bloated call option side of things that are out of the money, right? Uh, the best spot we could get to because, all right, so right now we close over 18. That's good. That's great. Uh, 26,110 call contracts in the money. Okay. But if you end up getting over $20, that's going to add an additional 31,000, which is going to bring you up to 70,000, 70,000 total calls expiring in money. And this is not going to be, uh, I I'd say this is the start of where it would be sort of risky for the mark maker side of things, but you know how the options chain works now that, uh, this whole options chain thing is flowing around on YouTube, right? Buy puts, do this, do that. Uh, calls are slowly getting cheaper. So you could see the price start, start to curl up. Okay. They're not quite there, uh, but you could see price start to curl up in the overall stock just because of how it plays. Now this is GME options chain. Uh, I wanted to look at this because this is actually interesting. Okay. Not a lot of the time you see GameStop options chain this bloated. Okay. 104,000 call contracts out of the money. A lot of people are actually betting that this thing is going to go up some even at the $600 strike price, which is insane, right? 20,000 contracts at that strike price, which would be absurd. But ultimately, uh, you'd, you'd really want to see GameStop close over 200. I mean, 170 would also be good. That would move the stock. But let's go over to the chart right here. As you guys can see, GameStop got stumped right at the candle from yesterday. And this is exactly where I would have wanted it to see break over uh, to actually continue the momentum, right? The, the, the most spot I wanted to take a look at was 160. Okay, I do think uh, until you break over 160, you're not going to see this thing get moving. So keep an eye out on that key level for GameStop. Uh, as you guys can see right here, it got rejected multiple times. One, two, three, four, five, uh, you know, over here. It got a little bit of stump, not not quite there, right? Came down and now it's acting as resistance. Um, if you break over these two levels, that's what I want to watch out for. Uh, 150, 250, and then 160 uh, over that to actually get the momentum going for GameStop. As for AMC, we're going to take a quick look here. Uh, same thing with AMC, but you didn't quite get the push uh, that I was looking for. Okay, obviously, we're going to take a look at the spy and see what happened. But um, AMC, right? I would have liked it to break over yesterday's high at 1904. That would have been best case scenario for, for today. But the fact that we had a green day is still a beautiful thing. Of course, everyone be thankful for that. But if you want to see, uh, if you want to really feel momentum continue to rise with AMC, uh, honestly, I'd say to get over 20. Okay, that, that's really the key level. If you get back over 20, you, you're probably going to see momentum actually start moving to the upside. Uh, you know, the way everyone thinks it's going to, right? Come up, come up, and then start flying, right? Uh, obviously, everyone's comparing the cycle. But in reality, it's really, it's really playing out. It really is. So by the end of this month to the first week of May, I'm being bullish apish on this right i do think you're gonna get a push 
And I know uh could be wrong about that. People come at me for it. I don't really care. Uh, you know, I'm just a dude here. But I do think that you are going to see that push. Now, yesterday we came out with a video that was worst case scenario for AMC. So I do recommend you guys go take a look at if look at that if you are worried about the stock dropping. Okay. That worst case scenario video is really accurate in my opinion but overall guys this is what i got for you for this video check the links down below i love you all lottery stocks out